Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our atomic structure from emission spectra experiment. In part A of this experiment, we will calibrate a spectroscope by observing the diffraction lines produced by the light emission from mercury in a mercury vapor lamp. In part B, we will observe the hydrogen spectrum using a spectroscope and a hydrogen discharge lamp. We can then use our spectroscope calibration graph from part A to calculate wavelengths for the hydrogen lamp. We will also calculate Rydberg's constant from our experimental data. In part C, we will identify elements by performing a flame test and observing their line spectra. Let's get started. In part A of this experiment, we're going to calibrate a spectroscope by observing the diffraction lines produced by the light emission from mercury in a mercury vapor lamp. And we have our spectroscope, which we'll be calibrating right here. And we've placed our mercury vapor lamp in a power supply unit and we'll now power that power supply unit on. We can now use our spectroscope to observe the diffraction lines produced by the light emission from the mercury vapor lamp. In part B of this experiment, we will observe the hydrogen spectrum using the spectroscope that we previously calibrated in part A of this experiment and a hydrogen discharge lamp, which we've installed in our power supply unit, and we will now power it on. We will need to use our spectroscope calibration graph from part A to calculate the wavelengths for the hydrogen lamp. We will also calculate Rydberg's constant from our hydrogen experimental data. In part C of this experiment, we will identify elements by performing a flame test and observing their line spectra. To perform the flame test, we will use a nichrome wire with a loop in one end. We will dip the loop end of the nichrome wire into a salt solution and then place quickly into the flame. We will observe the color of the flame with the naked eye and again with our calibrated spectroscope. Okay, students, we've now learned how to calibrate a spectroscope, how to perform calculations from light measurements, and how to identify elements by performing a flame test and observing their line spectra. This concludes our atomic structure from emission spectra experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.